We are going to start by logging into EIC, EIC, FIU, EDU. From this website, this is the Engineering Information Center website, we're going to go through EIC apps, do the login. Here uh, you're going to enter your FIU credentials, which is your FIU email without the RFIU.edu and your password for the Nowhere Network. At this point everybody should have been uh, able to access this software and have their credentials already set up. So we're going to open on-screen takeoff. Sometimes you may have to run the launch icon that uh, it's downloaded into your computer. And then on-screen takeoff should come up uh, in a short period of time. This uh, may require additional answer to questions that come up like uh, authorization and so on. The first step, as always, is going to be to check the directories. So you go Tools, Options, check your folders. Make sure that these are directed to your H drive 4612. Then we have database backup, plans, cache, and database. That has to be the first step every time that you open on-screen takeoff. After having the directories checked, the next step we want to make is to verify the license. If the bottom right screen says no license, you need to check the license authorization for the software. So we'll go into File, Check Authorization. This screen will come up asking for the license server. The license server is called license 6. You click on activate and then the software should activate the, the license. So it should say activation successful. After that uh, a message TKO um, valid until August 31st 2014 should come up. When you click close the bottom right side of the screen should say TKO. That means that you have successfully um, <coughs> authorized the software. So we have here already loaded uh, two bits. One is a test bit with one drawing. We have created seven conditions on that one. And then we have the Mirror Lake course project which has 151 drawings. We have not created any conditions up to this point. We're going to open the Mirror Lake uh, set of drawings and we're going to start by looking at some of the general requirements that we have for the phase one project. If we go to TS1, this is our cover sheet page, that's where we have the list of uh, drawings included in our course project. We want to look at the first drawing, the phase one site plan. This is drawing A11. So we'll go here and look for the A11 drawing or A11, it's uh, drawing number 21, 29, 1A11. One this one shows all the different uh, sections that we have in phase one. So we have including the new one-story food multipurpose building. That's going to be the main purpose of our course and then some minor work. So if we see they have broken down this phase one in different tasks and then those tasks are identified in the drawing with these symbols that they match the description of the, the scope of work. We're going to start now with the J1. Let's look at the security fencing. This is a, a fence that should be eight feet, uh, zero inches high, that goes uh, around certain sections of the course project. And then we see that there is an existing fencing this existing fencing, if it is in good conditions along the north and west portion of the construction staging area, this may be used. Maintain uh, fencing. Maintain fencing in good and secure conditions until directed to be removed by the project manager. So we're going to use this uh, new fence 
and reuse uh, the existing fencing they have in place. We need to start by locating the scope of work in the course drawing. So we see that on this lower corner we have J1, which is uh, the fencing, securing uh, the, the, the fencing. So this section here seems to be part of the new fence that needs to be installed. If we look closely, we will see this symbol, ECLF, which stands for Existing Chain uh, Link Fence. So we can assume that this fence on the um, bottom side of the drawing, are uh, it's an existing fence. And our scope of work will be starting down here with a new fence, that's this J1, and that new fence goes uh, on the top, goes up here, J1, see, and then it seems to stop at this point because the line type that we have between this vertical line and the horizontal line is different. So it seems like this uh, line over here has a representation for something else. And indeed, it uh, represents uh, H1. So if we go to the uh, description of work, and we, we will see that H1, it's a solid barricade. So this solid barricade is going to be different from the uh, safety fence. The solid barricade is going to be uh, 8 foot high solid barricade made out of a 5 8 exterior grade plywood painted uh, on pressure treated wood framing. So it's going to have a different materials, different cost. We're going to start uh, this um, exercise by finding the length that we need to secure for the security fencing. Measure the length of the, secu the security fence. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new condition. It should be a linear condition since we're going to measure length. So we click on the plus uh, sign. We're going to create a new condition. This should be a linear condition since we want to measure the length of this uh, fence. So the name that we're going to give this condition will be chain uh, link fence. We can say uh, in here uh, it's going to be 8 feet uh, 0 inches high. So it should be 800 zero, the number that we enter. That's 8 feet 0 inches. Then we click OK and uh, we'll get the, the um, crosshair symbol on the mouse, identifying that we can start doing the uh, takeoff. So I am going to assume that we have to start with this uh, portion over here from the existing fence. We'll stop right at the border because then comes a gate and then we'll take the fence again from this point on to this intersection then we want to go, uh, well, we actually want to go a little further. So I'm going to use the select button to extend the fence to this uh, intersection up here. And then click again on the takeoff uh, uh, tool to continue the takeoff of this uh, uh, chain uh, link fence. So then we go up, uh, up to this point, and we want to stop at this uh, intersection, this intersection here. Uh, I'll stop by double clicking on that point, and uh, I will not go any further because the rest is going to be H1. So this is a different type of uh, fence. We see that uh, we have right now 426 linear feet of uh, high um, uh, high uh, chain link fence. We do have also a, a double gate so we will probably want to measure the length of that gate. It seems to be 24 feet so I could really create a new condition, count condition and say this would be a um, chain 
link fence uh, gate 24 feet uh, long right and then we will have just one of those so I'll I'll count it only to have it into my uh, count of um, items so when I do the takeoff I don't forget that I have a 24 feet long uh, chain fence I could also go here uh, to the condition and write down in the notes uh, this is a double uh, gate so that means we'll have uh, two uh, openings on that gate